hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in it's your girl beloved and i'm back with a new recipe for the channel beloved catering service is a business where we make all kinds of cakes butter cookies shortbread cookies coconut biscuits sugar cookies brownies ring donuts meat pies samosa spring rolls and all kinds of fruit drinks and fruit juices especially so blue. we also make all local rice dishes and Ghanaian authentic dishes we cater for all events and occasions and any form of gatherings you can contact us with the information provided on your screen in today's video we are making a beautiful birthday cake for a special somebody. This is a birthday cake for a Mayborn and the person that ordered or the people that ordered wanted it to be in the shade emerald green. So I did my best to try and achieve the color they wanted and this is the end result. Ingredients for today's cake include my chocolate cupcakes cake butter my vanilla cupcakes butter and my red velvet cakes butter which i've made into three different cake layers already covered and then frozen overnight i'll also be using my perfect american buttercream frosting my milk and vanilla syrup green gel food color blue gel food color some golden sprinkles and white sprinkles i'll be using the fondant mat some white fondant, a fondant pencil, gold luster dust, a pearl picker, painting brush, a 1M piping tip, a serrated knife, the cake board and the complete cake board set. We'll also be using a mixing bowl, some icing sugar, tissue, a serving tray, the cake comb, an offset spatula, some spatulas for mixing the frosting, among other very necessary cake decorating tools. Before that, I would be very happy if you could subscribe to my channel right now and then turn on your post and notification icon so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video onto the channel. And please share my videos with your friends and family. Please subscribe. Let's get started. To begin, I'll wash my hands thoroughly with some soap and water. Initially, I'm supposed to be using a food glue for all of this, but I like to use my hands because it gives me a better grip of what I'm doing as compared to having something around my hands before getting the whole thing done. After that, I'll wipe my hands clean with some tissue and then proceed to removing the cake layers from the clean film covering. So I remove the chocolate cake layer. This is how it looks like and then place it onto the serving tray. Use the serrated knife to cut off the bottom parts a bit so that when I place it on the cake board with the frosting underneath, it can stick to the board and not slip off. After that, I'll use the serrated knife to divide the cake layer into two since it's a bit bigger than the other cake layers. I don't want it to look awkward when it's being cut into after the decoration is done. So it gets these two cake layers. I'll then place it onto another plate and then trim off the top layer of the vanilla cake. Set it aside and then remove the red velvet cake from the clean film wrapping as well. So these are our cake layers. We then begin by tearing some solution tape and then placing it into the middle part of the turntable. table. Place onto it the cake board and then I remove the top part of the cake box, add some frosting to the cake board after cleaning it with a tissue and then smear it nicely with the offset spatula. Now I place onto it the first cake layer which is the chocolate cake layer. Add onto it some of my milk and vanilla syrup. 
that is to the quantity I need or to how best I want it to get soaked. Then I'll place some of the frosting, which is my own colored buttercream frosting, into the piping bag, twist the ends and then start piping round movements into the middle part and sides of the cake. Then I'll smoothen it out with the offset spatula as seen and then I'll add on to it the next cake layer which is the vanilla cake layer. Then I'll drizzle that with some of the milk and vanilla syrup. Add on to it the frosting by, by piping a dam around the border of the cake or the edges of the cake and then all the way into the middle part, smoothing it out with the offset spatula and then move on to adding the next cake layer which is the next chocolate cake layer. As I do this, I'll make sure that it is straight on all sides. Then I'll drizzle the chocolate cake layer with some of the milk and vanilla syrup, pipe some of the frosting on it, and then smoothen it out with the offset spatula. Then I'll add on to it the last cake layer, which will be upside down, and that will be the red velvet cake layer. As I placed it on, I realized one side is a bit bigger than the others, so I trimmed it off a little bit with the serrated knife and then drizzled it with some of the milk and vanilla syrup, piped some of the frosting on the top part of it, just as seen in a circular motion, and then I used the serrated knife to straighten it out or smoothen it out nicely. After that, I use the serrated knife to move around the cake to check if there is any part that needs to be trimmed off to have a leveled cake all around. Then when that was done, I used the tissue to clean it from the cake board. After that, I decided to start crumb coating the cake from the bottom to the top sides of the cake evenly. Since the red velvet cake layer was on the top part, it was giving me a bit of trouble in the sense that it was becoming flaky and mixing up with the frosting which was used in the crumb coating. If not for it being in the fridge overnight, I would have suffered getting this done. No two ways. After crumb coating the cake to look like this, I'll give it the second coverage with the same frosting to look like this. After that, I will use the offset spatula to smoothen up the top parts of the cake just as I'm doing right now. And this is how the cake looks after the second coverage. Now I'll mix the green food color and the leftover green frosting together with the new frosting we made today. Kind of combining all three together and since they wanted emerald green i would have to add in a little bit of blue gel food coloring which is what i've added and then i'll try mixing it into the frosting to begin i'll add a little bit of the green gel food coloring and then the blue will be added later on as the mixing is ongoing So this is where I add in the blue gel food coloring and then mix it to have this very beautiful darker shade of green which is emerald green. I'll then scoop it into the piping bag without a piping tip and then push it down a bit. So here I'll start with the uncolored frosting and pipe a border at the bottom part of the cake all around it. Pipe it for about two lines and then switch to the green frosting, pipe a little bit of that, switch back to the white, pipe a little bit and then switch back to the green and pipe a little bit. Just an intertwined or 
alternating process of piping all around the cake till we get to the top. And this is the final look of the pipe frosting around the cake. So for this, I'll add a little bit to all the demarcated portions that are a bit empty. Then we start with the cake comb, move all around the cake to obtain this design in a detailed beautiful form. So we keep moving around the cake, moving around it until the design we are trying to make today is obtained. This won't be an easy process, but as usual, we'll get it done. Even if it gets destroyed, we are going to get it fixed. That is the spirit. So this is how it looks. I've obtained the design I want. Then I'll use the offset spatula to bring the green frosting into the middle parts of the cake, which is kind of smoothing the edges nicely as done now. And this is how it will look after all the smoothing is done on the top. Now I'll use a tissue to clean the bottom part of the cake. This is kind of wiping off the frosting that is not much needed anymore and giving the cake board a cleaner look. After that, I will then pick out the fondant mat, add on to it the white fondant we'll be using today and then spread some of the icing sugar onto the board which is the fondant mat and around the fondant rod to prevent the fondant from sticking then we roll out the fondant till we get to a circular size that can fit the top part of the cake now i use the bowl to make this round shape on the fondant and then use the offset spatula to cut all around the demarcated edges of the fondant on the mat after that i picked up the fondant pencil to write happy birthday miss sheila on it so this is our first time trying something like this let's see how it goes i know it's going to be easy because using fondant is quite easy so let's see so we start with happy then we move on to writing the birthday and then we add the Miss Sheila to it. This is kind of writing in a book kind of way but you just have to be gentle to prevent the pencil from getting to the bottom part of the fondant which is something we don't want. So we finally written what we had in mind. I'll then pick out the painting brush with the smallest tip and my gold luster dust and then begin painting in the lines that were used to write the inscription we'll be using today on the top part of the cake. I'll make sure to paint every alphabet on the fondant nicely with the gold dust. So this is how it's looking like for now. We are almost done painting it. And this is the final look. Very beautiful as I had in mind. So we then peel it off the fondant mat with my hands and then raise it from there straight onto the cake try to position it in the middle and this is how it looks 
Now pick another piping bag and then place into it our 1M piping tip. Then insert the green frosting into it and then start making a beautiful border on the edges of the fondant we just added to the top part of the cake. This is kind of an inward outward design so kind of a love on the borders of the cake. And this is the final look. What we already wanted to get is what we've gotten. We've done it as beautiful as possible. Now I'm going to add a little detail of stars around the cake. I mistakenly poked the bits of the frosting with my hands as I was lifting it from the table. So to cover that I used the stars around the cake. Initially it was just one part but just adding that to the cake would look awkward so I had to do that all around it some way somehow. After that I'll add on to it the pearl sprinkles which is on the top parts and sides of the cake. On the top I'll sprinkle it nicely and then on the sides I'll throw it at the cake so that it sticks to the frosting since it's still soft. Then I'll move on to slowly adding the gold sprinkles one by one as I throw that at the cake as well. And this is the final look of our cake we'll be delivering to Miss Sheila. Happy birthday Miss Sheila and God bless you. And thanks to her department for purchasing this from us for her. God bless you all. And this is where today's video ends. Thank you so so much for watching. Make it a point to watch our new videos this and every Thursday and Sunday for wholesome content and amazing recipes you can try with your friends and family. This new year, I'll be very glad if you could try any of our recipes and then give feedback on it in the comment section. Also, please subscribe to my channel Turn on your post and notification icon and then share my videos with your friends and family. Let's all join hands and make this channel grow. Till we meet again dear viewers, bye bye.